Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one only, and welcome to the Bel Canto. Now, this is a completely different different language game, so yeah, bear with me. I've been seeing a little bit of different games that actually look really, really interesting that are in different languages, so I wanted to try them out and see if I can actually get through them. Uh, <laughs> so it's going to be quite a ride trying to figure out what everything is. So once I actually like figure out what is what, we should be good. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna go through downloads right now. So I'll talk a little bit while the downloads go, and then I'll just skip across with once I'm done. But yeah, this game actually looked pretty interesting. Really interested to try it out. So I'm gonna be dazzling inside of different language games for a while. I used to for a while, then I stopped for a while just because there weren't any like really good ones. But now that I've covered most of the ones that are in English that I actually found interesting myself and quite a bit enjoyed, I'm going to go over to a little bit of different language games now and then when it comes to mobile games. So bear with me. Like I said, we're going to be experiencing it for the first time. So I could be lost and you could be lost and we all could be confused. <laughs> so that sounds like fun. <laughs> So it doesn't seem like the download is going to take all that long, fortunately. Well, I'm actually very excited to get in. We're going to be skipping through all the dialogue and everything. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll look at a little bit of the art. A little bit. But then we'll just skip on through. But you never know if these games could get like a global release or anything. Because most games that we thought would never get a global release have gotten one. And most games that we know we'll get a global release, we'll get one. But we don't know about this one. I mean, little things are translated. But I, don't, I think that's in common languages. Like, everything's translated now and then. Like, log, skip. Oh, it doesn't seem like we can... We have a skip button. What the hell? Oh, well then. I guess this is the tutorial now. So, we're going to get into it and see how it is. Okay, so this is basically like a strategy RPG. With your whole tactics and everything, you have skills. Alright, move forward. So this is the attack, right? That's his HP, his level. Oh god, he's level 50? Okay, we're level 52. So. He doesn't stand a chance. So we can't really read the skill, unfortunately. But it seems like this is probably cooldown time. And this is probably either range. One of those are range, probably. Oh, that's like the whole, um, what was it? Fire Emblem. Yeah, it has like the whole Fire Emblem encounter look to it. Oh, I like the golden sword he has. Okay, so that's a different skill. So it seems like the characters have three different skills. Well, not counting its um, basic attack. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, I guess you can actually... Yeah, I guess these are three skills. And this one is uh, the basic. I guess this one's past the turn. Here goes your order, so I can click onto him, see where he can move and see where he can't. And I can also look at his stats. So his HP, his attack is actually pretty high. His defense, um, I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know what the hell that is. His agility and how much he can move. I mean, hopefully this will spark up translators because the more a game gets out there, the more people who will try and like translate a game, you know, get it out there for like English players so they can know what everything is. That's kind of what happened to um, Destiny Child. There's been a lot of influence behind that. Oh, geez, you got a wide attack. So this is like a secret ability. Okay, is he a demon lord? Because I know what my old means.
Ah, rip that guy. So it is like a Japanese RPG. Pretty much straight up tactics and strategy. Games that I really enjoy, since you guys know I still play the Alchemist Code. You know, Alchemist Code is going through its um, anniversary. Which, congrats to them. Ooh, sparkly fire orb. Oh, oh, it disappeared. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's not the flashiest game, but it still does seem very interesting. And the fact that they have like a demon with them is kind of weird, since they both look like human warriors. Wonder how their story went. It. So that's why I would hope this game would get a global release because quite interested in their story. All right, my name. Okay, so it's not one of those games that are just gonna be like, oh, well, since you're not putting it in the same characters as as our language, you can't continue on. I mean, I can easily just use Google Translator. Skip, copyright. I'm not trying to fall into it, okay? <laughs> Try to keep my my YouTube channel as clean as possible. Yeah, most of the time that doesn't happen, considering that I randomly get copyrighted on the series afterwards, after it's fully done and has been uploaded for like probably a whole year. Oh dear God! Um, that's a lot of things we have to download. So I will see you guys after the download jeez all right and we're back finally i got some keys and stuff um seems like we have a lot of stuff do you have like events going on and stuff um nope i'm good Okay, so it just went through the tutorial and it just lets us out. So I'm guessing there's a mailbox? I'm guessing this is the news. <laughs> yeah, this is the news. So the thing above is our mailbox. Just had to double check. Let's see, if we get a free four star character Get some jewels here. We get a sword. I don't know what the hell that is. Let's see. Looks like some half off coupons. So we'll go in and use this stuff wherever we can. So that's our sword. Okay. The loading screens are actually decently long. Like, slightly long, longer than you would think. So I'm guessing this is a summon. Because it looks like a summon circle. I mean, obviously. Okay, well now we can skip. So we have characters and we have weapons. So we're going to do our first summon here. Let's just hope we get something good. Let's do it. So let's see what their summon animations are all about. Oh, you want me to tap? Oh, it's red. Does that mean good? Oh, it's yellow now. Um, I don't know what different colors mean. So we got weapon. I was about to say, hold on, is it like those, uh, is it like Grand Blue Fantasy at first? But I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> but we found a bow, we found some few other characters. And we got her from the red, got you from the yellow, so gold means good. Alright, so we found a lot of more two characters. So they turn into fragments. 
Okay. Noted. So we got this four star character, we got a four star arm. So they go through dialogue too. For whatever you summon. So I'm wondering which currency is which. But okay. So we got our formation here, I'm guessing. And the one next to it must be quest since it has next to it. Is there an auto? Yes, there is. We could just auto team it if you want to. If I was to click you, would you have like your sword stuff you could put on? I don't think so. Okay, we're just exploring. There we go. Okay, there we go. We got to our sword. So you can put your put a weapon on them, along with armor and accessory. So we do the same thing for you. What do we have for you? You have no weapons. You have no accessories and stuff. I mean, we didn't really get all that many anyway, so. Just making sure because they're different elements. Wondering was that did that count or anything? So you should be able to carry the arm since you're an attacker like them. No? That's weird. <laughs> I guess she just carries both of them. Whatever. Alright, hopefully that saved for us. So was I right about this being the quest? Yeah, these are the quests. I mean, why, why else would they be there? Go story we can skip. Yeah, this looks like story. They even have animations and dialogue for Japanese? Okay, cool. I mean, also English language too, so... It could get a global, is what I'm guessing. I mean, I always guess that just because if you have mostly English translated, like, video or stuff like that, I feel like you're gonna get a global. But that's not always the case. Even though it would be weird. It's always weird to me when Japanese games have like English translate in them instead of just having everything fully translated to Japanese. That's just me, to be honest. I've always been curious about that. Jeez, you have like a lot of tabs to go through for sure. So back here. Got HP, got formations. And completing like actual objectives gives you all crowns and stuff. Too bad I cannot do that. <laughs> I'm guessing this is helper. All right, let's go ahead. I guess you partnered up, partnering up other characters with others, which is basically giving like them a little bit of a stat boost, or maybe they have like their own little passive that goes into the character that you put as helper for them. Okay, I think I get a little bit of it, the gist of it at least. Yeah, these loading screens are. Less to be desired, to be honest. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's just like a little small thing I'm picking up. I normally hate really long loaded screens inside of mobile games. Just because I'm so used to them. That's my life. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know 
what her skills do. Okay, so that's a heal. Oh, well, he's out. Wait, what? She has a lance. Why can't she attack from there? Oh, well, then. <laughs> you would think a lancer would be able to attack from a decent... Far away. Um... Alright, you're more of a healer. So I'm just gonna keep you right here. Oh, jeez. Rude. So now I can heal. So let's go ahead and test out skills. Alright, so that's a single target heal. And this is... Okay, so all these are just like one space. I want to use this one. Oh, do they change according to where you click? Yeah, it does. But I assume you're supposed to be like over over him just to see. Ah, yeah, it does. Okay, so it's it's kind of like um kind of like the way the alchemist code does it. To where if you click in a different space, you won't see how much damage it does. But wherever the red squares are, the completely red squares are, is where the damage goes. So it changes depending on how you click on... Well, pretty much which square you click on. I actually like that a little bit. That's actually pretty nice. Player has leveled up. I like their level up screen. It definitely does remind me of a uh, Fire Emblem. Alright then. So that's pretty much the gameplay there, guys. Uh, we're gonna skip this and go look at a few more things and try to explore as much as we can. Alright, so story is the red one. But I don't know if they could get like other different things. Seems like we got some rewards in here. So the rewards from the stages went into here is what I'm guessing. Yeah, just about. Seems like you get a pretty good amount. So you might be able to do a summon like really quickly. about like 30 stages along with the whole beginner quest here I'm guessing it looks like a beginner emblem all right so it transferred here all right so we finished those quests so they sh probably went to our box instead I mean or did they actually go to our amount no, I think they actually did go to our mount. Yeah, it did. So this is the front list, I'm guessing. Yep. This is definitely the friend list. It just screams friend list. Shouting at the top of his lungs. So you can search them by ID. Okay. There's probably searching by name in there too. So, back to the whole translator talk thing. I'm gonna go into here and see what this is. Back to the whole translator talk thing. Translators can easily just create like, you know, screenshot pages and point you to the right direction of what to click and what not to click. You know, Let's use this as an example, the main page, whenever it pops up. So they can do a screenshot and translate pretty much everything on here. They can have an arrow saying 
this is beginner mission. They have arrow here saying this is formation. They can have an arrow here saying this is heroes, summons, missions. Then they can just put in other pages too for like this. So yeah, they can also do like that type of stuff. So translators are a big help with like English players trying to get into other games too. You know, make it like really popular to the point where it will more than likely come to global. Not saying it's a guarantee, but most of the time it has happened for sure because there's always been like a flood of English players into different games to the point where the devs are just like, okay, maybe we should just global, <laughs> global this. I could definitely say if this game got a global, I would definitely be on this game. So what is this? So here's the settings. Well, I don't want to click anything in here. I probably end up deleting my account or something. <laughs> it always makes me uncomfortable when I go into things like that. So let's let's not do that. Especially if I don't know what the hell it is. I think I'm exploring into dangerous places at that point. Let's do. Oh, yep. See, this is another thing they can translate. They could just have it like this, screenshotted, and just label it where to go because i'm confused here let's click this one okay this is locked on level 10 this is something okay so this is the daily dungeon from what it looks like yeah definitely screens daily dungeon Well, see guys, I'm translating everything for you right now. <laughs> and this must be story. This is something else, I don't know. From what it looks like, it doesn't seem like the game has like any skins or anything like that, so... Oh, the characters have their own little quests? If their own little quests unlock their um unlock like special abilities and all that or stats it seems like i would need um more of their shards to do their different missions maybe i mean that's at least what it looks like no though i know there was an extra character i got like stuff for who was it oh, no, i gotta see her face was it you yeah, I think it was you. Now I got five shards for you. So that's what we get. Oh no, it, these are farmable quests, I think. At least I feel like they're farmable quests. Ah, what the hell. Let's go in and see if we get a drop or something. I mean, we've basically been through more than probably half of the game. Or probably 80%. I feel like there's could be a lot more. Okay, so that's just the only personal heal. We're gonna go... Okay, so you can go right there. We're gonna stay right here, actually. You can also travel right there. We're gonna make... You come to us. Oh god, mage power, no. Mage, calm down. What, I don't know what you're doing, but I don't think I'm gonna like it. Seems like she magic up. Can you come down here? Okay, no you can't, so I can just step right here. Oh no, not the bows. Okay. Just checking. So each time somebody dies, she gets healed or something? Okay, so I'm guessing this is like some kind of buff. 
So I'm going to actually sit right here and use this and see what happens. Okay, so I'm guessing that's an attack buff. And this is that one a single target heal. So what is this? This is an attack. What does it do? Like I said, might as well test out everything, you know? So we get these guys again. Oh, we stunned her. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that's a stun. What is this? Okay, God. No, stop it. Oh, we didn't take that much damage. Oh, we got stunned, though. No, no. My worst nightmare has come to life. Oh, dear God. Are you going to die? Oh, well, you got jabbed. Feels bad, man. Okay, dude, you're being dramatic. Just die already. Jeez. Oh, Lord. How many turns are you guys going to get? Now you're dead, mage. Try it again. Yeah, that won't kill you, but th this will kill her. Yeah, eat wind blast. I oh, know. Not my healer. Okay, seems like we got our special ability ready. So we're just gonna skip our turn right there. What is this gonna do? Okay, this is gonna heal everybody. Okay, thank God we found a lot of tankier enemies that we can use our skills against. Okay, never mind. More dramatic skills. Seems like we have an auto gen. Does she regen like every turn? I think that is it. Oh dear God, we were taking a lot of damage though. Yeah, it's a it's a regen. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and take out these guys. It even tells you if it hits your teammates or not. This won't hit my teammates, thank God. And they're more than likely dead. If they're not, I'm going to be really surprised about that. Spinning orbs of death. That should kill anybody, right? Especially an archer. Yeah. Be gone, archer scum. <laughs> the game is actually pretty cool. I'll definitely say that. Now the question is, did we get drops? Okay, that one was probably... No deaths. Okay, yeah, we got one shard drop. So can we just farm that over and over again? Yeah, these are drops. So I'm guessing the tougher the enemies, the more drops. So that's a way to level up your characters. I actually like that a lot, actually. It keeps you from, um... Keeps you from having to summon, like, every single time. But even though the summons do give a lot more, obviously. Obviously. So all of our rewards came in here. So we have one more thing to look at. One more thing. But if you guys want a series of this game, I don't mind, to be honest. Because we have a little downtime for some more series. Alright, that's all that there is. There is nothing more. This right here is story, pretty much. So yeah, nothing really unique with this. 
So, yeah. With that said, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Try out the game yourself if you want to. If you are English, you can only get this on a Q app or through a APK, which you can find on various different websites, but just make sure that they're trustworthy websites. Like APK Pure, maybe? I haven't really had any... Yeah, I haven't really had any trouble with them so far. But that, that's just from my point of view. You can have, like, a bad luck situation and get something bad. But, yeah. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.